they're going 110%. Good morning everybody it's Saturday morning me and Cece are so excited we're having a girls morning out we're not gonna be gone all day so it's just a girls morning out we're going on dollar store shopping sprees okay not really a shopping spree we're just going to dollar stores <laughs> the first stop though was to Duncan I got a pumpkin spice ice latte Cece got let me show them what you got Cece a frozen chocolate and we got donut, well, munchkins. They call them munchkins there. Little donut holes. I ordered five powdered because that's Sissy's favorite kind. And the rest of them, I said they could just do assorted. One chocolate. Sissy's saving three of her powdered ones for daddy, she said. She knows those are his favorite, too. One of his favorite. He has many favorite donuts. <laughs> My personal favorite. Even though it looks like a hush puppy, pumpkin. the pumpkin. <laughs> So I'm gonna eat my pumpkin munchkin and we're gonna drink a little bit of our drinks and then we're hitting the first Dollar General. We're already in the parking lot. The reason I wanna go to some Dollar Generals is because if y'all remember last weekend, we had to play in North Carolina. Well, we stopped at a Dollar General on our way home and they had so much cute Christmas stuff. I can't even handle it. They had a pie plate, like a pie dish that you make a pie in. It said baking spirits bright and I think it was only $6. Why didn't I get it? I don't know. It was red and the letters were white and it was so cute. Huh? <laughs> She's saying, can you look at the fall stuff instead of Christmas? We will look at the fall stuff, but if you don't go ahead and get this Christmas stuff at especially Dollar General and places like that, you might not get it because they sell out of it pretty quick and sometimes they don't get it back in stock. I remember last year it was those cookie jars. I still have them. Well, not cookie jars. I'm sorry. Like, um, sugar and flour and jars like that you know to keep that kind of stuff in still have those um, but those were hard to find last year a lot of people were looking for those and i finally found a set of them but you either could find one or not the other one and they were only i think they were five dollars each titus is at home right now working on the laundry room and then he has some horses that he has to go shoe and stuff uh later this morning that's why we have to get back kind of quick but they're going to get my washer and dryer put back in the laundry room this morning. So that's what they're doing. I think some of the boys are helping him and some of them are watching cartoons. He got all the boys. Even Manly stayed home with the boys this morning. I bet he's going to miss me though. I'm sure he's already missing me. He's probably asleep, but you know, he's missing me in his sleep. <laughs> Oh, and this morning, we were going to do the pulled pork and the ribs and the smoker all day. They were going to smoke all day. And look at this beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's cool. It's only, well, right now it's saying it's 60, but as when we left the house, it said it was 45, but now it's 60. Anyway, the last time we used the smoker, you have, it has a shutdown cycle and ours, for some reason, if you don't do the shutdown cycle, it doesn't act right. It doesn't want to work right the next time you try to use it. I have been known to forget to put it on the shutdown cycle and I just unplug it and then it messes it up. So it's not broken or anything. It still works. It's just got to, you know, just got to figure out what I did to it. <laughs> yes. Okay. Making you have brain freezes. Here we go. We got everything. I got my keys, phone, this. We're taking y'all in with us to show you what they got.
All right, y'all, we are back home now. I'm gonna show y'all real quick what I got from Dollar General and the Dollar Tree. Dollar General gets better every year with their Christmas stuff and everything. They didn't have a whole lot of fall and Thanksgiving stuff at the Dollar Generals around us this year, but Christmas, they're going 110%. It is so much nice stuff. So anyway, the main thing I went for, this. This is what I was looking for. I saw this at that other one that we stopped at on our way home last weekend. And I didn't get it and instantly regretted it. But I'm so glad I found this one today. Baking Spirits Bright. It is so cute. Only $5. I got this mat right here. It's like a hand-woven rug. It is so cute. Christmas trees, farm fresh, pick your own. They have lots of different kinds. And it was only $5. Another thing I was going to get at Dollar General, but I forgot because I was kind of having a hurry since Titus had to leave to go shoe some horses, was one of those big red buck, uh, you know, bucket tub things with a lid to keep all my Christmas stuff in. They do have them. I saw them there today, but I told Aldra, I was like, we'll get that right before we leave. And then I forgot. So I'll have to get one of those so I can have that to keep all my Christmas stuff in. But anyway, the next things I got were these towels. These were only a dollar each. This one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Pick your own Christmas trees. They even have holiday towels, y'all. I got two red and then two, two like this for the bathrooms. I don't know why I didn't get three each. We have two and a half bathroom anyway. This coffee mug is so cute. It says merry and bright. It was $2. And then I got this one. It's a smaller cup. It's actually a pretty small coffee cup. Um, it was only a dollar, but Titus likes to drink coffee out of small cups. Like these big ones, he doesn't like the big ones. He likes small ones. And this one you can see is a lot smaller than that one. So I got this one for him. It says Merry Christmas. Then I got two of these little things here. They match. They're like the exact same color as the pie plate there. And then I got two of these black and white bowls right here. They match the top of that. Look at that. So it just says Christmas trees fresh cut on there and then it has the black and white on the top. I love that. It was five dollars too I think. Yes five dollars. I also got this farm fresh Christmas trees. I want to have this for like probably sitting over by the tree to put small gifts or anything in you know something maybe. I don't know. We'll see what we do with it but I just thought it was so cute. I think it was five or six it was six dollars this stuff is all so nice i'm telling you it's like it's really good quality as good as walmart quality stuff and cheaper like i'm pretty sure this at walmart would probably be over ten dollars i don't know though i haven't been inside walmart in a long time but <laughs> i always do grocery pickup so i don't know what they have going on yet inside of there for christmas but yeah six dollars that is a really it's big i mean that's a pretty big Think for six dollars okay then i got four of these these are not glass so hopefully they won't break but it's got the red truck on them and it just says christmas tree farm pine spruce fir it matches the this kitchen towel right here so i got four of those then i got two um little things i got this one that says all i want for christmas is coffee two of these little two pack to go coffee cup things and this one says fresh cut trees I thought these were so cute to have at like your little coffee station, hot cocoa bar and all that. I would love to do a little hot cocoa bar for the holidays. I just don't really have anywhere to put one. I don't have a lot of counter space, but anyway, this would be so cute to have at your hot cocoa bar, hot cocoa served daily. I might try to make one this year. I don't know. They're only a dollar <laughs> and it's the black and white. That, that, this is my theme this year, this little black and white theme going on. Okay. Then I got this one too that says home for the holidays with the truck. I needed scissors anyway because we're always losing scissors around here and they have the holiday ones um, over there on the Christmas aisle. So I just grabbed some scissors. Then for fall stuff, I just got two things because they are seriously almost completely sold out of all of the fall and Thanksgiving stuff. But I did find this coffee mug here and the matching kitchen towel. Then I just got this little advent calendar with these little boxes and I thought it'd be fun to put little treats in there for the kids each day counting down to Christmas. Um, I saw these little things. I'm probably gonna just let John and Aldra have these now, but it's oozy goo little, it says squish, stretch, and bounce little goo. They love to play with slime and goo and stuff like that. So I got those for them. I have not seen Dunkaroos in years. These are the real Dunkaroos. It's not any kind of, you know, off-brand or fake anything. This is a Dunkaroo right here. <laughs> they didn't have the chocolate ones. They only had vanilla, 
but I got four of them and I needed some pecans so I got a little bag of those and that is all I got from Dollar General. Now from Dollar Tree I got a few more Thanksgiving things there. These are glass so I only got two of these because glass does not last long in this house. <laughs> So I only got two. They're super cute little fall glasses there. And then these are big, they're like paper, what did they call them? Paper bowls, okay. Big paper bowls. I thought this would be nice at Thanksgiving to have to set the, you know, rolls and stuff like that in on the table. I got two of these little straw bells. I thought this would be cute to decorate the table, maybe put some little pumpkins on top of them or around them and it'd be like a little miniature pumpkin scene there. I got two packs of these plates that say thankful on them. And I thought I got two packs of napkins, but I must have only gotten one. Back here, I got this little bucket that says Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. And these, they had these last year. This year I just got one with the truck and then one with the little gingerbread man, if I can get it apart here. That, that says Comfort and Joy. These are nice to have. Like if you make things for anybody, treats or anything like that, they can just, you know, take them home. And it was only a dollar, but it's super cute for a dollar. Then I got these socks right here. <laughs> I got this one has a little hedgehog or porcupine, whatever he is, and then we have a koala. Okay, and then the only other Christmas stuff I got from there was this towel right here that says dashing through the snow. And I got these because of course, they match the other things and they're so cute. Little candle holders there. That's it, that's all I got. Now I wish I had that big red tub and I could just put everything into that, put the top on it and I'd be done, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna find somewhere to put all this stuff until Christmas and I gotta start cooking. I'm gonna just put the roast in the oven and I think that's all I have to start right now. I need to make the tea. Okay, we're walking up here now to see what the guys are doing and then it's gonna be almost time to eat. Last night when we went up to the candy store, it was really like a fudge store. We call it the candy store, candy shop, but it's a fudge place mostly. <laughs> When we went up there, we saw that the mountain coaster is open, but they were about to close. We went up there too late. So we're gonna try tonight to get finished eating and get finished feeding everybody and all of that so that we have time to take the kids to go ride the mountain coaster up there. They say they wanna ride. I know Jacob and Tyler and Jonah will. Cece, I don't know about, we'll see. She'll probably wanna ride with me. <laughs> Who's riding, you or Jake? All right, Titus is fixing to ride Clyde, really, really ride Clyde for the first time. Like he sat on him, you know, but now we're fixing to, you know, push that go button. The reason I got y'all to step inside there, and I know Fallon and him know, but the viewers may not understand. This is a young horse. He's, he's three years old. We just caught him out of the pasture a few days ago. He's never been handled. Sometimes they can do what we call explode. And if that happens, they don't really think about where they're going. And I don't want no kids to be in the way. So right. y'all are in a safe place right here. I always let the horse know that this is not to hurt him ever. Uh, it's just really just for sound. I use it for the sound of it. The sounds, you know, gives a little sound. So he knows that this is never to hurt him. And I want him to go, I, and I'm not hitting him. I'm, see there, it's just the sound of it. Daddy.
So, I'm checking the temperature here. I think we're done. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit here and rest. I'm gonna make the slaw, and that's pretty much all I have to do. We're just gonna have slaw with it, chips. Um, we have some sweet Hawaiian rolls, so we can do like little barbecue sliders, barbecue sandwich sliders. All right, food is ready. I just went ahead and made the little barbecue sandwiches. We have chips, we have slaw, we have applesauce if anybody wants it, but we're eating kind of quick because we need to go to Tractor Supply and we're hoping to have time to take the kids to ride the mountain coaster tonight. What are you doing, little boy? Are you playing with the choo-choo train? Where's the choo-choo? Say, choo-choo, choo-choo. I know you're gonna ride the mountain coaster, right? Are you gonna ride by yourself or are you gonna ride with daddy? I hope we got full speed. I got a gingerbread latte from Yona Coffee Company. Cece, do you got your eyes open? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no!